Yo, what's going on, guys? Boy, Uch, and of course, we're back in once again. And uh, yes, yes, I am going to actually start doing Dino Fury reviews because I, if you haven't already, I, by this time, you should have already seen uh, that there is an episode one review that I clipped from my stream when I talked about it. And I'm going to try my best to at least do these kind of more of like my thoughts on the episode but overall it is at the end of the day a review at nature and just give my thoughts on what i felt how the, how i felt the episode went and uh yes yeah, it's, it's gonna be like i don't know they're not gonna be too long it's just gonna kind of go over my general thoughts and how i feel on how the show is going so so far two episodes in not gonna lie i don't want i don't know if the right thing to say is that i'm impressed but I can definitely say that this is a, a very big and noticeable change as far as how they're handling the show. And I do feel like with two episodes in, um, so far, so good. They're not necessarily making this like way over the top with like the acting as far as like being like super corny. I feel like how how they are acting and how they're kind of like transitioning into things like as time goes on is actually really appreciated and i do like that and i do take notice on that as a matter of fact the episode opens up with them learning how to morph properly and that is actually something that i've always wondered why they never kind of like had that in power rangers if you look at the very first episode day in the dumpster on you know mighty Morphin power rangers they literally just said you know like zordon kind of told them like well you call upon the power of your dinosaur your your dinosaur dinosaur <laughs> and uh you you know that that's how you you become the power rangers and like you know once they got once they got cooked by the putties i mean they didn't really get cooked but you know what i'm talking about um jason was like all right well let's let's try let's do it mason and that's when they did it but for this it was like we're going from episode one to episode two um I think his name is Zato. I, I I can't really. I'm not. I don't remember the names uh, perfectly yet. But the Red Ranger, since he already has a history being a ranger already. I mean, it's been 65 million years since he's been. Uh, you know, the the the, the leader and team of his original Dino Fury squad. Uh, he obviously has that prior knowledge, that prior experience. Well, meanwhile, the new two rangers, which is Ali and I forget the Pink Ranger's name already, but her like they they are brand new to this and so the red ranger has to obviously kind of show them the ropes a little bit and they're they're showing that in the show and i actually that is stuff that i like i i i've always even now and even when i was a kid i've always questioned like well how come like if they went from not even knowing about this and then they just kind of like jump right into it they just that's exactly what they do they like it's almost like they come equipped with this knowledge and we never see that and now we do and i and i also want to kind of transition into talking about how like the zords work now it seems like they are obviously going to you know take their time with the pacing and i and i really do think that's a good thing because they're not just kind of throwing at throwing everything at us at once um and I, and i do like that i like how so far it seems like these episodes matter and it's all plot based um, the Sporix, which is what they're trying to all track down so they could kind of seal them back up before they all like turn into monsters and whatnot, which obviously this is going to be like kind of where like our monster of the day um, situation comes from. And I do like how Void Knight is now in his own base and he's, I guess, looking like to, he's trying to power something up within that base by obtaining the Sporix. So it, it, it is uh, it is forming and shaping itself out to be pretty nice i do like i said i i am enjoying it i am i'm not gonna lie like i said in my theme song reaction that i hope i was wrong and so far i'm happy that i was wrong now i also will say like the song itself going back to the song really quick the song itself it does seem like they kind of just went for the more catchy route because the nah, 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 like that that part sounds like it's hypnotizing, right? They're trying to just put us into a trance to make us like, <laughs> like just you know, it, it'll grow on everyone at some point eventually. Even though overall, I still don't think the song meets up or amounts to anything or or any of the 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 great classic space Zio, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force. Like those songs are 
goaded for life. Like they were always gonna stand out to be some of the best songs of all time. Dino Fury, of course, this is the last known Nickelodeon Power Rangers show that's you know done under. Uh, I, well, I know Hasbro owns the IP now, but obviously to fulfill out you know the the set contracted dates to in which Power Rangers was gonna be done in the style that it has been done. This is basically the last see like this is the last series, if you will, for this Neo Saban or Nickelodeon era Power Rangers, um, if however way you want to word that. So like I like I've been saying, I I have I have been enjoying. I do like the characters so far. They're not like they're not like too um, over the top. They're not like overbearing or anything like that. So far, so good. Like I said, we only have three right now. Um, and they do have, they do provide a little bit of personality within each of them. Um, so yeah, I, I, like I, there's really not too many, too many bad things that I have to say about episode two, since it's obviously more of an episode two, uh, review, but I will also kind of just throw in my overall thoughts, uh, as we go along so far. So I really, I really hope that this continues and I hope that this really uh like carries throughout the rest of the season i know that of course unfortunately they're gonna stop like at episode like 9 10 or 11 or something like that um like they have been for the past however many years that they've been doing power rangers every season basically they milk for two years rather than just one um so yeah i like i said like i keep saying um i i i and i and i'm saying it and i, and I feel like the reason why i'm repeating myself a lot is because i like you got like you guys know I love Power Rangers, okay? Power Rangers is a part of me. It's a part of who who I am along with my other loves like Dragon Ball and Pokemon and stuff like that. Power Rangers has always been there ever since I was I was young. And of course, I want to see it flourish. I want to see, you know, I want I want to see it do well for itself. I don't want to I don't want to watch it and feel like they are mishandling it, mistreating it, or it's just so blatantly obvious that they only have one objective in mind, and that's to make sure that the toys get sold. And obviously, like, you can argue the show in and of itself is just a giant commercial for the toys, for the kids, and for fans like us who will buy them anyway, right? And I'm not even gonna lie, like, I kind of said recently on my stream that I'm not going to go gung-ho crazy buying every single Lightning Collection figure that is under the sun. I'm pretty much going to kind of get the ones that I'm really trying to get, uh, like some of my favorites, right? And I guess like for any of the newer ones that they might release, they there there has there would have to be something along the lines of uh, that would that would that would want that would get me to really be like like they'd have to do something in the show for me to be like, "All right, I they they've earned that much more of my respect than not for me to pit them in a tier high enough to where I would actually spend my own money in supporting that in that way and adding it to my collection. So we'll see what happens. Oh, and one more other thing that I definitely have to um, talk about on episode two, and then I feel like this is the last point um, that I have here, is that the morphing sequence was actually fire. I popped off because it was clean. It looked mad good. Some of the background soundtrack that they have going on, like, and I also do, I guess I could just say this as well. They're not, like, really using the theme song as, like, a backdrop song, if that makes sense. Like, they're using, like, similar sounding tunes that go, that can obviously go along with the theme song, but whatever they're doing, it blends really well. And that morphing sequence, man, oh my. God, like it looked really good. I'm not even gonna lie. I was super. That was one of the best parts of the entire episode. I was super impressed by that. Um. So yeah, that's, that's And obviously, this episode they uh they had the Red Ranger hide his antennae, which really looked. Oh man, like it looked super goofy. And now it looks like he might just not have them out, or at least he'll have them out when they're not in public, but for the first time when they had to actually go check on the city, they had to blend in. But the only way of blending in was just removing his antennae. They didn't put him in like street clothes or anything like that, at least not yet. But we'll see and we'll get to that point, I'm sure. So that's gonna be it uh, from me. This is episode two review. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna try to get these out for you guys um, as soon as I watch the episodes. I can tell you right now, there's no way I'm gonna wake up at like, 
6 a.m. my time to watch these. There's no way. There's no way. I don't even have cable. I don't. So um, that that's 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 another thing to take into consideration. But I hope you guys are, if you are watching Dino Fury, I hope you guys are also enjoying that. Let me know your favorite parts and what you don't like maybe, what you do like. And if you are watching Dino Fury, I can tell you as a Power Rangers aficionado that uh, I would definitely give this a watch. I will. I, I can say that with, with some confidence. So far, two episodes in, it's not bad. It's not terrible, right? So, um, again, like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure that you are supporting your boy in with all the things I got in the description below. Twitter, Twitch, Discord, join the Uchi gang, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, take care of yourselves. May the power protect. Keep it locked, loaded right here on the channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time.